Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October. Now keep in mind that this is for October, all right? And this reading may or may not be for you, so this reading may not be for you at all, okay? So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, we got some that fell out. Three. September. Something that happened in September may have changed your life. Okay, so something about September is very prominent. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So you're dealing with a man that has dark complexion or dark hair. Something that happened in September. You're probably still going to be dealing with it in October. Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Alright, so you are slowly but surely getting ahead. Hmm. What do we have? Ooh, okay. Well, we got three cards, I believe, fell out. <clears throat> Doesn't want responsibility. There's somebody here that does not want responsibility. <clears throat> Time to set new goals, Capricorn. Time to set new goals. So I know that you've had this one before. I think it's been quite a while, but boxing gloves. Could be time to get them out. It could also be time to put them away, you know? Maybe it's time to hang up the boxing gloves. Maybe it's time to stop fighting, or maybe, maybe you're gonna need them. I mean, we're gonna get more cards, but there's definitely a dark man here uh, that doesn't want responsibility, and it's time for you to set new goals. Right, maybe you're ready to fight though. I mean, maybe you need to, we'll see. Let's get one of these. What do we have? I feel like it's hang up the boxing gloves. I really do. Let him, let him have it. Just like, you know what? You win. You win. I could be wrong though, but. What do we have for Capricorn? Magician. Magician is a card of manifestation. Um, it did come out reverse, but I'm not doing these in reverse. So this is a card of willingness to shed the old to bring in the new. As above, so below. Getting what you asked for. Um, <clears throat> bottom of the deck is the tower. So major disruption, dismantling of a false sense of security. This is a shock. It's a surprise. Uh, major life change, disruption. This is light being shed on a false sense of security. You know, I really feel like this is supposed to be reversed. It did come out reversed. This is no success. I feel like you've been lied to. You may be dealing with a pathological liar, somebody that lies a lot. And maybe that's your falseness. Maybe you've been unaware, you know. You know, maybe you weren't you seeing something. But anyhow, this is a false sense of security that is crumbling. It's crumbling. There's, And I feel like the thing is, is I feel like you're going to be taking your power back. And that is it. when you take your power back, you're willing. It's like, I'm, I'm going to be successful. I'm taking control. So I do feel like you are going to be taking control. I feel like there's going to be a change. It's a massive change. Light is going to be shed on some sort of truth. Um, there's been lies and I, but I feel like there's lies or something is about to be exposed and it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a shock. We have an unhealthy foundation. I feel like, uh, maybe you realized it in September. Maybe this is when it came to light. Something happened in September. Now, now it's time to set new goals and maybe, maybe some of you need to start fighting for yourself because the magician is a card of self it's a card of independence it really is it's a one it's not a two it's a one so maybe it's time for you to be successful maybe maybe you get out the boxing gloves and you start working on your health maybe you work you start working on you know fighting for yourself 
I think that you are going to be going through a spiritual awareness, a spiritual awakening during October. You may be realizing the tower is realizing the truth. You could be also be, say you're a masculine that's watching this. You may be dealing with a woman that is dealing with a man, that is re dealing with a dark man. Um, maybe you start to realize the truth. Either way, I feel like this is a month where you're going to be slowly getting ahead. There's going to be massive changes with that tower card. I think this started in September. Something happened in September. Maybe it was forced because a tower is which just forces you. Okay, you're forced. You're forced to take action. The magician is action. Okay, you're forced to take control. You're forced to set new goals. So I think that something has happened in September that is forcing you to set new goals. Let's get one of these. Could be health goals. Uh, the tower could be health. It could be a relationship. It could be work. It's something to do with a foundation. Okay, and starting over, building a strong foundation now. Um, could be a change in a living situation. Maybe you didn't want responsibility in the past for some of you. If you were, you were uh, ignoring something, you know, ignoring your health or ignoring uh, a relationship, whatever. There's something that is about to be revealed that forces it forces you. Trust your situation or this situation is calling for you to have faith. So there's a, you need to have faith and trust. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And we saw that in the tower card. So we got, we got three people here. Everybody's wearing a mask. Everybody's pretending. I feel like you're going to be needing to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. Um, something is going to be revealed. may have to do with a third party situation. Or it has to do with denial, something you've been in denial about. I just cut it to the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. So Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. It's going in a new direction. It's the Wheel of Life spinning you in a new direction. It's a destined change of course. It's the end of a chapter in your life. You may be flirting with somebody. You could have a crush. You could have an admirer here. Um, there could even be news of a child or good news that is coming. There could even be, yeah, there could be news of a child. But this could be just welcome news. You could be receiving support or flirting with somebody that you are destined, that is destined to be in your life at this time. Um, this is life that is always changing. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time. You could you could have like a, a it feels like there's somebody that is going to be a flirting with you or expressing feelings to you showing feelings. I also feel like you got some good news that is coming. This is this is definitely good news, positive news, positive change in direction. I feel like you're going to be finding some resources that you have lost. Maybe you've lost uh, faith in yourself or something. Ooh, two cards fell out. Ace of Pentacles reversed and Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is giving up something that is not uh, solid, not putting in effort, giving up. So I do believe that you are going to be letting something go or somebody has let you go. Somebody's like not been putting in much effort. There's nothing solid. There's nothing stable. It's slipping away. I feel like we have an unplanned, you know, setback here or unplanned loss with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is a lost opportunity, something not working out. <clears throat> could have to do with job. It could have to do with a job, but it doesn't have to be. This is something that you thought you had, but you don't. For some of you, you know, there's some health problems here or something has, ha this could be chronic health problems or something could be happening. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know, it's over. There's no going back. 
This is breaking free. It's being liberated from a situation. This is very extremely painful. There's been some sort of betrayal here. I think that you have been betrayed. I think it's it's uh, it's sad. It is really sad. Um, this is even for some of you. It could be a near death experience. You know where there's a need to take action right now and get healthy. Somebody really hasn't been putting in much effort. They haven't been practical. They haven't wanted responsibility. And this may be this may be like just being lazy, you know. There's a need to get your shit together for one thing. You need to get it together. You do. You need to stabilize. You need to ground yourself. And you need to start putting in more effort. You need to really get working on something. You need to get working. <clears throat> Hmm. Empress reversed, three of cups, five of pentacles. Some of you were ghosted. You may be involved with in that, and we only got one hidden underneath it. Four of cups are reversed as well. Some of you were uh, neglecting. I feel like you were neglecting yourself, waiting, begging, begging for attention from somebody. Some of you have been begging for attention from somebody that doesn't take care of you, that doesn't have have all the feelings. This is a player, somebody that is interested in somebody else. It's like you've been begging. You've been begging this person to take care of you or begging this person to love you, but this person has no... Uh, well, this person is very self-centered, very self-absorbed, mean-spirited, likes to party, likes to have fun. Uh, likes to play games, likes to play around, likes to keep you waiting. There's somebody here that likes to, is looking, you know, that likes to keep you waiting, that likes to play with you. Anyhow, um, and I feel like you don't know your value. You haven't known your, known your value. You have definitely not been taking care of yourself at all. You need to mother yourself. You need to be your mother. You need to take care of yourself. You need to stop partying. You need to stop, and, and I don't know how the partying works for you. It's like it's either overeating or not eating healthy or uh, some of you may be dating too much. or There's something going on here where there's going overboard and there's a need to refocus. You know, and some of you may even be begging somebody. I don't even know if it's on social media for attention, you know, with your posts or you know, with your videos or whatever it is that you're doing. It's like you're begging for attention. There's, I don't know how that resonates with you, but there's something to do with social media here, and there's a need to stop begging, okay? Don't beg. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. And I see that because the Empress is reversed. It's in your arena. It's in your position. It's like I'm begging, begging, begging. You know, maybe you need to get together with your friends. Focus on yourself. Focus on your friends. If there's somebody here that... You know, is it interested in you or they don't want responsibility, then just let them go. I know that's easier said than done, isn't it? Anyhow, I also feel for some of you that you're looking. It's like you're looking for something more. You and, and there is a possible love interest here that you could meet online, okay? But you have to know your value. And I do think that you need to be careful because there is somebody here that may be looking for somebody that's weak. So I think that you do, that is vulnerable. So I think that, you know, there could be somebody that is looking for somebody that is vulnerable, that is in pain. And I think that you need to be careful if you're dating online or you're socializing or whatnot. Somebody could see that you're in some sort of pain and, you know, they... They take advantage of that. I feel like there is, some, and, and especially if you're posting things on social media, say, say people read, okay? They read people's energy. So, you know, people could be taking advantage of your vulnerability if you're showing it on social media. I don't, I don't know why I want to uh, really express that to you. I do think there is a, there is, if you are a female watching this here, there is a deal, there is a relationship or you're dealing with a man with dark complexion or hair that, you know, uh, I think that, well, let's, let's be, we're going we're gonna to get their side right now. These cards just flew right out. Seven of Cups reverse, Justice reverse, Three of Swords reverse, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles reverse. So, seeing very, very clearly, you're dealing with somebody that is next to the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups reverse, next to the Five of Swords. They want to win at all costs. This person doesn't care who they per. They explore lots of options. They're dishonest. They don't tell the truth. 
this person is give, give is very um, this is a con man you got a con man here six of or con woman six of pentacles reversed this person really does not care who they are at all you're dealing with somebody that is abusive this person is uh, causing you a lot of stress. They know that they're causing you stress. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. This is somebody that lies, the pathological liar. This person is, is going to be getting some karma. Uh, whoever you're dealing with is going through some sort of pain right now. They need, they need to fill a void. So I don't know if there's somebody that comes back to you uh, to fill a void. They only give you crumbs. Uh, you're dealing with a con man. There's there's like a uh, six of pentacles reverse. That's a con man. Okay, this is somebody that is abusing their power. They see that you're in pain. They see somebody is sees that you're in pain. They see that you're in pain, and they are going to be trying to take advantage of you. This is a very cocky, smug individual. Definitely has dark hair. Could be a male or a female, I believe. This person explores options, doesn't tell the truth, is a pathological liar. They are worried about you giving to somebody else, so they will give you crumbs whenever whenever you start to uh, push them away. When you push them away, they'll give you crumbs. So there is somebody here that gives you crumbs when you decide to stop giving them. When you decide to give stop giving them, they step it up. Um, <clears throat> We definitely have an abuse of power here. We have, this is a definitely a power struggle. It's a hostile situation. You are going to be dealing with somebody that is extremely stressed out. This person is in a state of despair. And, and I think they're in a state of despair because you're not giving them. We got the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles in this, this lineup. This is somebody that is wanting control, highly egotistical, abusing their power, um, in a state of despair, in a state of anguish, uh, wanting control, does not want to lose control. This person... Um, it's like you've you've stopped giving them anything. They've caused you some sort of pain. You've stopped giving them. So, you know, they are going to do, even if it means lying and telling you what you want to hear, then that's what they'll do. So I think that you definitely need to be careful. I do. Um, let it go. Don't give it your energy. The, the signifiers are the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a need for you to not invest, to not put any effort into this hostile situation. Um, it's time to leave the past behind with that Three of Swords reverse. It's, it's, it's time to focus on the future. You need to be honest with yourself as well. This person, whoever you're dealing with, I don't know if it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very confused. And when they see that, you know, they can manipulate you. They are very, very manipulate you. They, they manipulative. There's somebody here that man, is very extremely manipulative. It's not going to go in their favor. I feel like you need to give deep thought when this person approaches you. You need to uh, you need to you need to push them away. You need to say no. Nope, nope. I got to do what's right for me. I got to do what's right for There's somebody here that you need to reject. You need to reject and it's because they reject you. And then when they when they need their void filled, they come back. So there there's definitely somebody here that comes back. You got to be careful. You, I mean, we have an injustice here twice in this lineup. Justice reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is an injustice. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely selfish, that is greedy, that doesn't tell the truth, that 
lies like crazy, causing you a lot of stress. They don't care who they hurt as long as they win. This person clearly is a menace. It's a clearly, clearly, clearly is abusive. This is some sort of abuse. They have nothing to offer you. Severing ties, you know, somebody is severing ties, things not going out, going in their favor. This is on their side. So whoever you're dealing with, it's not going to go in there. Karma sees, karma sees, karma sees how they treat you. Karma sees, karma sees the stress, that they, ca ca sees the pain, sees what they're doing. Okay, because we got seven of cups reverse, then the justice reverse. That's karma sees, sees the abuse. So you're definitely dealing with some sort of abuse here. There's abuse. There's some, an abuser here that is, it's not going to go in their favor. They're, they're going to have regrets. They, and they do have regrets already, but they, their ego is humongous. You got somebody here whose e ego is humongous. They don't have anything solid to offer you. They lie like crazy. This is somebody that lies like crazy. <clears throat> They're looking for a week. If you're a woman watching this, this is somebody that's looking, and, this, and even for a man, this is somebody who is looking for somebody that they can control. So they're gonna they're gonna be asking you for some sort of help, or begging for your attention, or begging for your forgiveness. Three of Swords reverses forgiveness. No, and you do need to say no. The Ace of Pentacles reverse is no. No, 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 no. Some of you may need help with an addiction as well. Maybe you need to get help. You need to focus on your health. You need to focus on your inner growth. This is like strings attached, you know. Or no strings attached. Somebody just wants no strings attached commitment. You need to say no. Strong, strong, strong control. Strong control. You're dealing with a control freak. Not doing the right thing. Not wanting to be held accountable for their actions. Seeing very clearly. Something is going to be seen very clearly. There's lies. There's lies. There's lies that are going to be exposed. There is a crime being exposed. Some, if somebody's been stealing if, or stealing on the job or something, something, they could get caught. Somebody could lose a job. There could be theft. Okay, there could definitely be some theft here. We definitely have somebody here that is abusing their power. They, they have no morals that is going to be losing okay they're losing they're losing if they're going to court this is a loss and there's a loss here or they're losing a job or they're losing money there's financial loss because of abuse whoever you're dealing with is getting some karma they're going to be experiencing some sort of financial loss Who's coming into your life? King of Cups reverse. Somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. Somebody that is not ready for a relationship. But they need some sort of attention. Emotionally abusive with the Five of Swords. I mean, this is somebody that uses emotional blackmail that doesn't really... They're not emotionally available. They don't express their feelings. They're not, they're, they're not emotionally available. There's somebody coming into your life that is not really looking for a relationship, okay? They're not. They're not really looking for love. They don't want responsibility. This person is emotionally unstable. 
one more. Let's get one more. Eight of Cups. You need to say goodbye. You need to walk away. This is emotional disappointment. You need to walk away from somebody. You need to leave. You need to say goodbye. You need to go in another direction. This is this is necessary. It's necessary. You you have to look forward and not look back. It's time to move on from that bad choice. You need to be honest with yourself. There's poor health here and there's guilty. Don't feel guilty for moving on. You have to move on. I feel like you haven't been you haven't been listening. This is like not answering the higher call, not accepting the truth, not being honest. We have somebody here that is, there's guilt here and there's bad karma. We got justice reversed and we got judgment reversed. There is definitely some bad karma here. There's no chance in reconciliation. It's not meant to be, you are meant to go in a new direction. You have a new opportunity here. You do. We have the Wheel of Fortune. That's a cycle that is ending. It's a big cycle. <clears throat> you're being spun in a new direction. You probably have somebody here you're going to be flirting with, that you're going to be connecting with. You can't go backwards. It's time. You can only go forwards. There could definitely, whoever you're dealing with is gonna is getting judged right now. They're being judged. They will be judged. There is karma coming for this person. It's not going to turn out the way that they thought. Karma sees, like I said, seven of cups reverse, justice reverse, karma sees. They see this person is going to lose, okay? They're going to lose financial stability. They're going to lose money. They are. There's financial uh, loss here. You need to be honest with yourself. I, I wanted to clarify the King of Cups. The King of Cups reversed. We have the Six of Cups reversed. That's clinging to the past. Somebody that you know. There is somebody here that you know that you have, have some sort of past with. This person um, is emotionally unavailable. They're emotionally shut down, you know. There's emotional, they are. I mean, the Six of Cups reversed is freedom from obligation, right? Nothing stays the same. You know, the past is over. You need you gotta focus on the future. You gotta focus on that. You need to yes, there's memories, but you gotta you gotta you gotta leave the mem you gotta leave the person and take the memories with you. Definitely there's some sort of not listening to advice. Not listening. I'm not listening. Moving having a hard time moving on from a poor choice, being judged. Some of you, you know, are There's a loss here. There is a loss. There is definitely a loss. Empress reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Justice reversed, Judgment reversed. It is a loss. It's a significant loss. Something isn't working out. It's not working out. And there's and there's a I don't really want to accept it. You have to accept it. You may you may you may get, even be pissed off over this loss. There is a woman here that is wrecking havoc on the whole on your whole life. Okay? You need to walk away. So you're going to be walking away from somebody and I think that it's time for you to take back control. You need to take back control. It's time for you to set new goals and you know, you need to take your power back with that magician card, right? <laughs> 